what is the relationship with money? Because that's the practical day to day. It would seem like wealth is inside of us and it's just a matter of unlocking it, having the keys to the kingdom to reveal these things to us in due time. But then the practical day to day would be our relationship with money. So I'm gonna take it to the whiteboard real quick to, to have you see what I'm thinking in my brain. What the worldview, there are uh, these personalities or characteristics that I believe exists if I had to summarize it based on how I've been interacting with people for the last six years now. And I, I picked this up from another gentleman by the name of Garrett Gunderson, um, who broke it down into the miser, the conservative, the striver, and the high roller. Every client I've worked with falls into this somehow prior to me sharing with them kingdom principles and kingdom characteristics of how our relationship should be with money, right? So the miser is someone that's interested in preservation. They want to preserve money. They want to keep it for as long as humanly possible, right? The, the conservative is interested in accumulating money, right? The, the miser is more of a, a cheap person, right? They, uh, they, they, they want to scrimp and scrap. If they, if they see the option at the restaurant of a steak versus a chicken, they, might, they will typically always choose the chicken over the steak even though they might have wanted to have the steak and they might even influence their wife or kids to also get the chicken over the steak, okay? They're always interested in preserving money. The conservative takes preservation to another level and says, not only do I wanna preserve it, but I also wanna accumulate it, compound interest, make it last really, really long. The, the striver is more so interested in status they want to have the boats, the cars, the, jo the, the, the jets, the, the million subscribers, and whatever it takes to, to get to that status. So if it means taking a, a risk, if it means taking our, our entire family outside of the state they have grew up in and move across country for a higher paycheck, a higher a, a business opportunity, a, a completely different shift in, in industry for the sake of making more money or an opportunity, uh, accepting sponsorships as a content creator that you may not even believe in, but because it's an easy paycheck, it is what it is, right? Status. And then the high roller is the gambler. And we all know that person. And the way that looks like for my people here watching, and they don't like to admit this, but I point it out and I call it out whenever they, they do it because they say one thing, but they do a whole nother different ball game when it comes to their money. They say that they're conservative Christians. They say, you know, I, 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 I want to create a secure environment for my family and I want to take care of my family. I want to be able to tithe and do all these wonderful things. But then we buy uh, Bitcoin when it reaches 40,000, two of them, <laughs> um, and then say it's going to go to the moon. Or right now they're buying so many stocks of AMC right now because it, it's around four or five dollars a share. And in 2021, during COVID, it was as high as $500 a share. So they're like just dumping a bunch of money right now into AMC stock or, or GameStop. And so we're, we're seeing a disconnect and I, and I tend to call it out because I'm like, hey, wait a minute, <laughs> you don't know anything about that industry. And you just got done telling me that we're trying to preserve, pay off debt, increase cash flow, you know, increase our credit, you know, form a foundation mm -hmm. here. And then behind my back, you know, in between phone calls, you went and did this real estate investment or you bought mm -hmm. this Bitcoin, you bought this stock. So you're technically a high roller. You just, boom, you roll the dice. And if you score, wonderful. But if you don't, it's win big, lose big, right? Yeah. So that is the world view. The kingdom view is something I, I think would need to be maybe tweaked here. Um, I'm not 100% confident in this, but I can speak to where I'm at today and, and maybe you can speak to that and maybe there could be some, some, some corrections or pivots. So I believe there is a mindful manager in terms of relationship with money as it, as it pertains to the kingdom and our relationship with money and our master, our creator, God, the father. So there's the mindful manager. There's the kingdom creator person that literally is always in a state of creation which is the highest form of wealth creation is the ability to create things and then be a blessing to others and give so i think that is powerful and then there's the kingdom planner the person that will sit and count the cost 
I can admit I'm that guy that will sit and count the cost of a potential kingdom transaction in the world. And I want to in ensure that not only does it, does it work out, but the, but the math makes sense. And then I also pray over it and submit the plan back to God. That's kind of been my uh, uh, strategy. And then there's the catalyst, or in other words, the, the, the change maker, person that goes out into the world. This, this, is, this is probably someone like you that absolutely is changing the game as it relates to creating content on social media, what that looks like as a man of faith. The, you, um, the catalyst is also tends to be like the, the CEO, the visionary, the person that comes up with an idea, executes on it, and gets a massive amount of people involved. But then in that process, they're unchanged. So mm -hmm. it's not like you get into politics and then you get bought and now your character is different. You came in with a certain philosophy that was change making, that was awesome. And during the revolution, something happened, you got bought, you got controlled of, and now your uh, values and principles have been compromised, even though you did a phenomenal thing, let's just say. Grow a, a fantastic business, a large YouTube channel. So the catalyst is someone that not only can bring change, but they're unchanged in mm. that change because they're rooted in their values, principles, things like that.